This is video number four in our lesson on angle theorems. In lesson number one, we did some vocabulary. In lesson number two and three, we went through the basic angle theorems that we should have hopefully remembered from elementary school. And in this part, we are going to do some examples where all of the rules are mixed together. So it says here, determine the measure of the marked angles in each of the following diagrams. And then there's a picture that has numbers and letters that we are supposed to find. And then there is a table that has the different letters that we're looking for, what theorem we are using to find them, what calculation we need to do if there's a calculation we need to do, and then what the actual value of that angle is. So I am going to take a look at this first question, and we've got an angle of 65 degrees, and we are missing angles X, Y, and Z. And I'm just looking to see if I have a post-it note because I find it really helps if I can cover up parts of my diagram so it helps me only see very limited parts of the question so that it's easier for me to pick out what the um, theorem is that I'm going to use. I think I might end up using my calculator because I can't find my post-it note. So I'm going to start with angle X. And I'm going to take my calculator and try covering up different parts of the diagram. If I cover up the diagram here, I see that I have a straight line. I know that straight lines add to 180, but I don't know what either of those angles are. So that's not really very helpful. If I try turning my calculator this way, I see another straight line, but this time I do actually have one of the two numbers. So I think that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the straight line and these two angles on this side. So if I were to look back at my angle theorems that we just did, I would see that a straight line is a supplementary angle and it adds to 180 degrees. So I know that these two angles are going to add to 180 degrees because they make a straight line, which is also called SAT for short, the Supplementary Angle Theorem. So for the theorem, I usually just write the short form. I would write SAT. You could write supplementary if you really wanted to. And then for my calculation, I'm going to make a little equation. I'm going to say that X plus 65 makes a straight line, so 180 degrees. And then we are going to solve for x. I would subtract 65 from both sides and I'm going to get that x equals 180 take away 65 which is 115 degrees. So in my answer box at the very end here I'm going to write that it is 115 degrees. That is X. Now, I recommend as you work through the question that you label the numbers on your diagram because you might need to use that number to calculate the next part. So we've done X, and there's no rule that says you have to do them in order, but I usually try if I can. Um, I'm looking at Y, and there is more than one way that I could find Y. So option number one, y and x make another straight line. So I could use the supplementary angle theorem again, but this time for this straight line, so 115 degrees and y. But I also see that I have two perfectly straight crossing lines, which means I could use my favorite theorem of all, which is the opposite angle theorem. So these two lines are perfectly straight crossing lines. So these two angles here should be the same. So Y would be 65 degrees because of the opposite angle theorem, otherwise known as OAT. The reason I like this one, it doesn't require any calculation at all. It's just 65 degrees. Now, like I said, you could do the straight angle, right? That they add to 180, you could do y plus 115 equals 180 and solve it that way. 
right? I chose to do the opposite angle theorem. So this is 65 degrees. All right, last one is Z. And I can think of at least three different ways, maybe four, that I could find that angle. Okay, option number one, I could take that straight line and say that this straight line, these two angles, add to 180 degrees. I could take this straight line and say that these two angles make a straight line and add to 180 degrees. I could look at the whole thing, which makes a big circle, and say that all of these angles added together is 360 degrees, because that's the reflex angle theorem. Or I can use my favorite theorem, which is that this angle here and this angle here are the same because of oat. And I think I'm going to pick that one because it requires the least amount of work. However, you could do the line. You could do the full circle. It is your choice, but you should hopefully end up with an answer of 115 degrees. Okay, we are going to try our next example. This is part B. I have a number of lines. I see that there's a square. I have 70 degrees, and then I have X, Y, and Z. So you don't have to do them in order, but I do try to start and see if I can. Sometimes I can't. I'm looking at angle X. The only other angle I know at this point is the 70. So I'm going to try to cover up everything except the X and the 70. And I notice that square shows that these two together make a right angle or 90 degrees. They are complementary angles or we call that the complementary angle theorem, otherwise known as CAT. So the complementary angle theorem says that these two angles together should add to 90 degrees. So X plus 70 would equal 90 degrees. And then I would subtract 70 from both sides to get that X equals 90 take away 70 which is 20 degrees. And then I am going to write my final answer in the answer box and make sure that I put a degree symbol to show that it's 20 degrees. I am also going to label that on my diagram because I might need to use that angle to help me find another one. Okay, so we've done X. Let's take a look at Y. So I have Y. I've got 70 and I've got 20, and I don't currently know what Z is. So the Y is across from the 20, but they're not perfectly straight crossing lines, so that is not oat. But I do see that the Y and the 70 make a straight line, and I know that straight lines add to 180 degrees. Those are supplementary angles otherwise known as SAT, the Supplementary Angle Theorem. So I'm going to use SAT for this one. And I'm going to say that these two angles add to 180 degrees. So Y plus 70 equals 180 degrees. I'm going to subtract 70 from both sides. And Y is going to equal 110 degrees. Sorry, I didn't show you that on the calculator. So 180 minus 70 is 110. All right, I'm going to mark that on my picture as well because I might need it. And last but not least, we have Z. And there is more than one way to find Z. So one thing I notice is this pink straight line that I marked for Y and 70 also works for Z and that 20 degree angle that was X, right? I could say that these two angles add together to make a straight line of 180 degrees. I could, however, also say that all of these go in a big circle, so they add to 
360 degrees. Now, none of these are reflex angles, but if you were to add 110, 70, and 20 together, they make a big reflex angle. So we could do the straight line, but I think just to mix it up, I would like to do the full circle. So I'm going to use my reflex angle theorem, otherwise known as RAT. And I'm going to say that if I take Z and I add 20, 70, and 110, it should equal 360 degrees. It was tricky to fit all of that in there. All right, I'm going to start by collecting my like terms of 20, 70, and 110. I'm going to add all of those together. So 20 plus 70 plus 110 gives me 200 degrees. So that is a reflex angle if I put all of them together. And then I'm going to subtract 200 from both sides. And I get 160 degrees. So I wrote that in my answer spot. And then those are my three angles. Okay. So I think I am going to see you in the last video to do our last example, and then that will be it for today. I'll see you in the next video.